Well, greetings, everyone. Once again, this is Israel Hawkins coming to you from the House of Yahweh in Abilene, Texas. And this is the Prophetic Word Show. Uh, if you would get you a pencil and a paper, I have a free gift for you. If you will uh, write down the address or email or phone number and call, uh, I have a free a free gift for you. And when I say free, it's absolutely free. It's <laughs> We won't call you or... or uh, I write you asking you for money. Uh, the Prophetic Word Show was paid for by uh, House of Yahweh members, and uh, and of course they're fully dedicated to this work and getting it out to the world in these last days as prophesied. Believe it or not, the prophecies show that in the last days, and we are in the last days, uh, according to uh, your Bible, Matthew twenty four fourteen. Uh, says this message will be preached in all the all nations, uh, and of course uh, that's what it's doing right now. So it's it's being teached in all nations throughout the earth, and uh, and uh, of course there's supposed to be a uh, there will be a a great gathering at this time. It's spoken of in Revelation seven, but uh, get a pe pencil and paper and write these scriptures down so you can. Uh, 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 study them later and see because uh, there's a lot of deception going on in the world today and and uh, I, I'm not I'm not bringing the deception I'm bringing you the truth the truth is found in your Bible the Bible is the number one authority actually the book of Yahweh is uh, book of Yahweh uh, if you'd write down Isaiah uh, 34 16 Isaiah 34:16. you'll see that this is called the book of Yahweh. Yahweh created the heavens and the earth. The Catholic Church uh, under Pope Constantine uh, and, and, and a few others <laughs> before him actually caused the people to forget the name of Yahweh. This is found in, in Jeremiah as early as the prophet Jeremiah. Yes, uh, they were... Uh, making the people forget the name of Yahweh uh, for their uh, for Lord, and uh, and of course uh, this is what people worship in today. They worship Lord, but here in in uh, chapter twenty three of uh, Jeremiah, if you have a King James version, it is uh, Yeremia. If you have a book of Yahweh, but he says here in uh, verse twenty six, he said, "How long will this be?" in the heart of the prophets who prophesy lies. These were not the prophets of Yahweh. In fact, uh, uh, if you look back up to 21, he says, I've not sent these prophets, uh, yet they run. Uh, I have not spoken of them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel and caused my people to hear my words, the laws and the prophets, then they would have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doing <laughs> well of course uh, this is what satan if you remember in genesis uh, 3 verse 5 uh, satan said to eve uh, go ahead and partake of this way uh, uh, you won't die of course this was a lie uh, as said throughout the holy scriptures you will die if you the the wages of sin is death and unless you repent and be converted, as Acts 3.19 says, yes, you will die. You'll die the second death, which there is no resurrecting, no resurrection to that. But notice what it says, the evil of their doing. And, and, and uh, the, Satan actually said to Eve in trying in convincing her to sin, in verse 4 he says, the serpent said to the woman, you will not surely die. But, <laughs> of course, uh, every scripture from Genesis to Revelation shows that uh, if you don't turn from sin and repent, as Acts 3.19 says, repent and be converted that your sins may be blotted out, then you will die the second death. Now, verse 5 says, For he knows that in the day that you eat of it, your eyes will be open, and you will be as God's, knowing evil, <laughs> knowing evil. Yahweh had already taught Adam and Eve righteousness. 
his laws or righteousness, the righteousness that he taught them. So, he, so Satan is saying to Eve here, now you're going to know evil. By being like the gods, you'll know evil. You'll learn to do evil. Well, that's exactly what is being said here by the prophet Jeremiah when he says, Yahweh uh, has not sent these prophets, yet they ran. But he said, if they had stood in my counsel and caused my people to hear my words, they, they would have turned them from the evil way and from the evil of their doings. Evil like the gods. But look on down now to verse 26. How long will this be in the part of the prophets who prophesy lies? Look at verse 27. Who devise to cause my people to forget my name. Forget his name? <laughs> look at there. Forget his name for Lord or Baal. Baal means Lord. Uh, means a super, super rabbi. If you have a, a Unger's Bible Dictionary, or if you could go to a library and check one out, or, or just use it and look up the word rabbi, you'll see where the word comes from. The word Lord comes from. It's the dead rabbis. They, the the uh, top rabbis, when they had someone they liked a lot, you know, like uh, 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 one that would play the part of a pope, of course, and that's the way they do the popes today. You know, they uh, when a pope dies, they deify him, and they classify him as a lord that can uh, that can answer prayers. Well, that this didn't come from that from that direction. It came earlier than that. The rabbis in Israel, uh, whom uh, Christians claim uh, uh, are not going to make it. That's the way that, uh, that's the, way, the ones they pray to. They're dead. Unger's Bible Dictionary. Don't take my word for it. Write it down. Unger's Bible Dictionary. Look up the word rabbi. Also look up the word Yahweh. Unger's Bible Dictionary will tell you that Lord is not a divine word and not a divine name and should have never been used to replace the Creator's name meaning they replace the Creator's name with the word Lord. Unger's Bible Dictionary. Well, here in, in Jeremiah, he tells you that they cause the people, these false prophets, these evil priests of Jerusalem. Yes, they had taken over the temple at that time, the house of Yahweh, and they changed this name to Mere Temple because they didn't want the people praying to Yahweh and, and, of course, getting their prayers answered. They, they wanted the people to forget that name because righteousness went with that name. Righteousness, the righteousness of Yahweh is his law. Isaiah 59, you want to know why your prayers aren't answered when you pray to Lord? Number one, you're praying to dead rabbis or dead popes. Yeah, <laughs> yes, the same thing. When they die, Ecclesiastes says... The, the dead know not anything. The living know that they're going to die, but the dead know not anything. That's inspired words of the Holy Scriptures. And the Savior said in Luke 24, verse 25, you're a fool if you don't believe all that the prophets have spoken. Well, of course, they, they're praying for rain here in uh, California and, and Abilene, Texas, and uh, under severe drought in uh, California now and been praying for rain. And, and of course, uh, 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 they, here in Abilene, they prayed for, uh, they went to putting out signs, the preachers did, in their front, front yards saying, pray for rain. And when I saw that, I said, well, I thought that was the preacher's job, uh, you know, to pray for rain. <laughs> Is he asking the people who drive up and down the street to pray for rain? Uh, uh, why can't he get his prayers answered? I got your answer right here. Why, why doesn't Yahweh, the, the gods don't have power to answer prayers. That's the one thing that Yahweh shows in Isaiah 45. Only he has power to answer prayers. Only he has any power at all. He's the one that's running the show. He allowed Satan to prove these people. He allowed, he sets, uh, he said, as he says in, Deuteronomy, hold your place there in Isaiah 59, but in uh, 
in Deuteronomy, the 30th chapter, Deuteronomy, the 30th chapter, he says, See, I have set before you this day life by righteousness. Life by righteousness only. Deuteronomy 6, uh, 25. Hold your place. We'll be coming back to Deuteronomy 30 there. But Deuteronomy 6 and, uh, and verse 25, it says, And it will be our righteousness if we will observe to do all these laws before Yahweh our Father. Before Yahweh our Father. As he commands us. Now the Savior said in Matthew 6, 33, write that down. He said, seek first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness. And he said, everything will be added unto you. Now, the churches are not doing this. Neither is the Catholic Church, the Roman Catholic Church. Neither is any Christian churches. The Muslim churches are not doing this. The, uh, 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 the ISIS are not doing this. I don't know what religion they are worshiping, but I know they're not keeping the commandments of Yahweh. None of the religions are keeping the commandments of Yahweh, yet that is the only way to life. They're leading you to a path of death is what they're doing. And this is what your scripture shows. I am merely showing you the scriptures inspired by the prophets. The Savior says you're a fool if you don't believe it. If that's in Luke 24, verse 25. And the preacher that says, says believe only, you know, that's poppycock to deceive you, of course. Yeshua said, yes, believe. You've got to believe all that the prophets have spoken. And if you want to enter into life, you must keep the commandments. I'll show you that in just a moment. Well, here in, in Deuteronomy 30 now, he says I, in verse 15, please write this down. Please study these for yourself and see that you're being led uh, Revelations 12.9 says Satan has the whole world deceived. That's the reason that Yahweh said in the last days, I will establish my house and my house will teach his laws and then the end will come in the last days, last generation, as I'll show you in just a moment. But Deuteronomy now 30 and verse 15. See, I have set before you this day life by righteousness. But he also says, and death and destruction. So I've set before you life by righteousness, but I've also set before you death and destruction. And he says, you've got to choose which one you want to follow. In that I command you this day to love Yahweh your father by walking in all of his ways, by keeping his laws, his statutes, and his judgments, so that you may live and multiply, so Yahweh your Father may bless you, may bless you, yes, may give you blessings. If you shut yourself off from Yahweh, no, he's not going to answer your prayer. He won't hear your prayers. I'll show you that too in a minute. Verse 17, but if your heart turns away and you are not obedient, and you are drawn away to submit to gods, submit to gods, to worship them by serving them. Yes, yes, worship means serve. In both, uh, in book one and book two of uh, the book of Yahweh, which they call the Old Testament and the New Testament, they don't get that from the Holy Scriptures. This is no such thing. There, there is not a new covenant. Uh, in, in fact, I'll show you that too. But uh, if you're put, drawn away to worship gods, to worship them by serving them. Romans 6.16 6, says, You belong to whom you obey, whether of uh, uh, obedience, which leads to righteousness, or of disobedience, which leads to death. Sin, which leads to death. Well, verse 18 now, Deuteronomy 30 verse 18 he says i declare to you this day that you will surely perish yes if you don't follow yahweh's laws of righteousness you will not be allowed in the kingdom of heaven now that is a that is a fact the apostles they claim that the apostles did away with the laws but write down 
1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 6, 1 Corinthians 6, and verse 9. 1 Corinthians 6, verse 9 and 10. He says, the apostle Paul, his name was actually Shaul, but they changed his name to Paul. They changed Kepha's name to Peter. Uh, uh, they, they hated the man. They claimed he was a pope, but the Peter, <laughs> the apostle Kepha, his name was, he actually condemned everything the Catholic Church is doing and said, you turn from the commandments, you're like a bunch of dogs and hogs. You turn from the commandments of Yahweh, it's like turning to your own vomit and, uh, and like a hog when she's washed in, when she's uh, washed, she turns again to wallowing in the mar. And this is what he said to the Pharisees, Sadducees, Essenes, and Herodians who had their army, the Roman army, destroy the temple in 70 CE and actually moved all the artifacts to Rome. You didn't know that, did you? Well, <laughs> of course, I, I, I know I'm the only one telling these secrets, but they, uh, but you can look up Titus in any dictionary or encyclopedia, uh, and it will tell you the conquest of Titus over the Jerusalem. He, he, he wiped out all the people he could. He murdered them who would not convert to the Lord. And, uh, and anyone who kept the Sabbath day or used the name Yahweh, they were, they were on his hit list to murder. Well, here in 1 Corinthians now, they say the apostles did away with Yahweh's laws. Of course, this is nothing but deception. The apostles, if you read your Bible, you'll see that the apostles kept the laws and they taught the laws and they said sodomites are not going to make it into the kingdom. You've heard of all the charges against the Catholic Church priest and, and uh, the many, many, because the, the, uh, the raping of little children, yes, is one of their pleasures, one of their evils that they, they practice due to the fact that they have permission from one of the evil gods. Well, 1 Corinthians 6, 9 says, Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom? Well, what is unrighteous? Do not deceive yourselves, neither fornicators, nor God worshipers, that's idolaters, nor adulterers, that's a man with somebody else's wife, nor men who commit sexual perversion with boys. Men who commit sexual perversion with boys. This is priests raping, sodomizing little children. Yes, and, and, uh, and, and, the, and of course they have their own, own, uh, laws and they, they, uh, uh, do what they want to do and they're protected. They're given immunity from the law, the laws of the land. Have you seen the Pope doing anything about this? No, he joins in with them. He, he praises them and says, what right of he, does he have to judge? Well, of course, he doesn't have any right to judge, what it, but he does have the right to teach them the, these uh, scriptures. But instead of that, the, the Catholic Church changed many of the scriptures in the Catholic Bible. Now, they hate the King James Version, even though the that the King James authorized it to be uh, written, and they see they have no power to take it away. But uh, when they destroyed the temple, they took the book of Yahweh and kept it hidden for over 1,500 years away from the people, would, would not allow the people to have it. They had huge book burnings uh, trying to get rid of all the prophets' writings, all the apostles' writings. But uh, notice that. Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh? Do not deceive yourselves, neither fornicators, that's sex before marriage, with Hollywood is pushing it to the limit, trying to get all the, all the children uh, involved in sexual sins. This is Satan's doing because she, she doesn't want mankind to belong to Yahweh. She wants to deceive and keep mankind from ever gaining this authority. 
Genesis 1.26 says, I will make man in my likeness and in my image, and I will give to him authority. Authority, as uh, uh, Psalms says, over the universe. Psalms, all the things that Yahweh's fingers have framed. Satan does not want that to take place. And she's trying desperately to keep it from taking place. She is hoping to destroy heaven and earth and all that has to do with mankind. That is her dreams of using the nuclear bombs to do so. Well, the apostle Shaul says, neither fornicators nor God worshipers, those who serve gods. Yahweh is not a God. They couldn't find his name in any of the God books of Egypt. When he went to, when Moshe went to Egypt, they could find all the gods listed, but they couldn't find the name of Yahweh. And, and of course, even today, Yahweh is not accepted because of his righteousness. Yahshua said they hate him and his father uh, because he exposes their sins. <laughs> yeah, sin is the breaking of the law. Nor adulterers, nor men who commit sexual perversion with boys, nor men who commit sexual perversion with other men, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor robberies, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. Now that is a fact. Now in Revelations, Revelations 22, we see the Savior here saying, blessed are those who keep his commandments because they have right to life. The, 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 the churches will try to tell you that it was the Savior that did away with the commandments. And then the apostles did away with it. They said the Pauline letters hinted at it. <laughs> no, that was a Pauline letter that you just read. They call him Pauline. His name was, was Shaul. He, was, uh, he, meant, he wrote several of the, of the books in, in uh, book two of the book of Yahweh. And, uh, and he, yes, he condemned all forms of, righteous, of uh, unrighteousness. He condemned them and said, you will not inherit the kingdom of heaven uh, like this. You will not inherit it unless you repent. Uh, Acts 3.19, please write that down. Romans uh, 6.16 says, Do you not know that to whom you yield yourselves as servants to obey his servants you are, whom you obey? whether of sin, sin, the breaking of Yahweh's laws, which leads to death, it leads to death, or of obedience, which leads to righteousness. Remember Yahshua's words, Matthew six thirty three: seek first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. In, in Acts 3, 19, it says, Repent, therefore, and be converted. Converted to what? Converted to keeping Yahweh's laws of righteousness. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. Unless you repent and are converted, your sins are not blotted out. And the wages of sin is death. You have only that to look forward to. The churches and the, these people that are teaching against Yahweh's laws, they're teaching against the Bible they have in their hand on Sunday morning. They're teaching against the Bible you're holding in your hand now. Look at that. Repent and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. Yes, they didn't say believe only, did they? They didn't say only believe or believe only. Neither, the, neither did the Savior either. <laughs> no. no, he taught their sins and he, he says, repent or a worse thing will come upon you. Sin no more, lest a worse thing come upon you. Uh, and, and he says, uh, the apostle here, this is the acts of the apostles. Repent therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out and that the time of refreshing may come from the presence of Yahweh. Well, go back over now to the book of Revelations. This is the last book in the Bible, the last chapter in your Bible. And look at this. This is the Savior doing the speaking. Yes, he says it in verse 12. 
And it, he's the, this is your Savior. Now, I know that all these religions are against the Savior. They're against Yahweh. Daniel, the seventh chapter, showed they'd be against Yahweh and his laws. Daniel 7, about verse 21 through about 25. Daniel 7, write that down and read it. And they are, and they still are today. All the religions of the world are against Yahweh and his laws. I've never found one except the house of Yahweh. And let me show you the prophecy here before we read the Savior's writings here. In Micaiah, in Micaiah, uh, they have that, they took the name Yahweh off of the end of Micaiah. And the, and the king would not authorize it unless they removed the name Yahweh from the Holy Scriptures and the name Yahshua. In the catechisms of the Catholic Church, it shows that they took the names, they took the names out of the, of the Creator and the Son, and they replaced it with two gods that Constantine chose. This is in the catechisms of the Catholic Church. Uh, uh, I understand that the Roman Catholic Church, since I started exposing this, that they had done this, and it's in their own writings that they did, uh, it, the, now they're changing the catechisms of the Catholic Church and taking those things out so it won't be there in a little while. They're going through the catechisms of the Catholic Church to try to fi hide their sins again. Well, of course, that's the reason they moved to Rome to begin with, because there's too many people in Israel that stood up for Yahweh's laws, his righteousness, and for Yahshua, the Savior, who also taught the same righteousness. So they destroyed the temple, moved to Rome. Titus, General Titus, that was their general. They had the Roman army. The Roman army stood on their part. Uh, that's in Daniel 11, Daniel 11, and verse uh, 31. The army, st well, the army will stand on his part and they will pollute the sanctuary of strength, that's the house of Yahweh, and will take away the daily, that's the daily reading of the laws of Yahweh, and they will place the Lord of heaven. Yes, the Lord of heaven, that's the teaching in the, ch in the churches today and in all religions. They all worship gods and lords. All of them. Well, Micah 4 and verse 1. Micah 4 and verse 1, or Micaiah, if you have a, a book of Yahweh. But in the last days, it will come to pass. In the last days. The Savior said in Matthew 24, the last days, he's speaking of the last generation. And he said that generation, that's Matthew 24, verses 33 and 34. He said, that generation will not pass away. When you see these things take place, you know that that generation will not pass away until all these things take place. Everything here, including the nuclear burning, the nuclear wars that, that all the world now is fixing to, fixing to go into, and your Bible shows this. Well, Micaiah 4 verse 1, but in the last days, in the last generation... It will come to pass, the mountain, that is the promotion of the house of Yahweh, will be established in the chief of the nations. That's the United States. It's been the chief of the nations for several years now, since the nuclear bombs. <laughs> it will be raised above all congregations, and all peoples will eventually flow to it. And many nations will come and say, come and let us go up to the promotion of Yahweh and to the house of the father of Jacob and he will teach us of his ways and we will walk in his paths because the law will depart from Zion yes it did Yeshua said said because of this the kingdom will be taken from you and be take, be given to another nation the United States which was the he describes here as the chief of the nation. And the word of Yahweh will be taken from Jerusalem. And he will judge between many people. That is, Yahweh will judge between many people and rebuke strong nations afar off. And they will beat their swords into plowshares 
their spears into pruning hooks. Nation will not lift up sword against nation, neither will they learn war anymore. Well, of course, the word is going out to all nations right now. Let's go over to Revelations and get the Savior's message here right quickly. The Savior, the last chapter of Revelations, the last book in your Bible, verse chapter 22, 22, and verse 12 says, Behold, I come quickly. This is the Savior doing the talking. And my reward is with me to give every man. I am the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who keep his commandments. Do you see that? Blessed are those who keep his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. For outside are the sodomites, the whoremongers, the sorcerers, the murderers, worshipers of gods, that's idolatry. Use the word idolatry in the King James Version. And everyone who professes to love yet practices breaking Yahweh's laws. Verse 16, I, Yahshua, that's his real name. I, Yahshua, have sent my messenger to testify to you these things. And you can't change it, 18 and 19, verses 18 and 19, said anyone who changes this are going to suffer the curses that's written in it. That's what, they're, that's what the Catholic Church is suffering right now. The curses of these sins are a plague to the Catholic Church and all Christian religion. They're a plague to all the world. We have sickness all over the world and it's getting stronger every day. We have wars and fighting all over the world and hatred all over the world. Uh, it, it's growing. It's getting, it's getting worse every single day now. And soon it will turn into nuclear war. Yes, in this generation. We're in the last part of this generation. It started in 1934. Write, call, or email for your uh, copy. In fact, uh, 12 issues uh, will be sent to you one a month of the Prophetic Word magazine that gives you all of these prophecies in detail. Until next broadcast, may Yahweh bless your understanding.